Hi, my name is John Storms, and uh, I'm going to unpackage our new Kindle Touch. Let's just get to it. I'll open it up. I think their boxes are pretty cool. Slides. We can see that the Kindle Touch is sitting nice and neat right here. Pick it up. It's nice and light. It's not as heavy as the Kindle Fire. A little bit smaller. See on the back there. It says Amazon Kindle. This looks like probably points for a recharging station. But on the back, this is the power button, this is the headphone jack, and then right here is the power connector, which is a USB connector. Alright, so this is one of my favorite parts of any new mobile device, is getting to peel the plastic off. Okay, get ready. This is awesome. Okay, this is like almost endorphin rush, just... Whoosh. Now in the process, it appears I've turned it on. Bar got all the way to the end. Now what? It doesn't have the time set. Kindle user's guide. Okay. Tip one of three. Easy reach tap easy reach tap. I'm not a big fan for tutorials, so let's just hit the home button. So home button kind of looks like a series of vents, but it's actually Actually, a little button down there, the Oxford Dictionary, so I can want to flip some pages. So I just tapped on the book. There it is. So now I should be able to just flip the pages, just like that. That works pretty nice. And up on top here, I can tap to search. Okay, so it comes up with a little keypad, so let me type in Chris Christmas. And these are all the things it came up with, so let's say Christmas. Oh, Christmas cactus. See? Very nice. Now up here is a menu button. If I hit menu, what happens? Turn off wireless, shop in Kindle store, go to index, sync, book description, view notes. Okay. So I don't want to turn off wireless. Here we go. Settings. Wi-Fi networks. All right, so we are on. Listen to our lights, and uh, I'll type in the. All right, I typed in the password. Now I hit connect. I'm not sure what it's doing, but from that little symbol up there, that looks like it's connected. And this little butt, the guy up here is doing something. Okay, so now it's picked up the registration. See, it even says Wendy's Kindle. We go to menu. I go to settings. Device options. Now you can put a device passcode, but um, I have a couple of friends who bought their kids iPads who, uh, what? A commercial? Oh jeez. A Dove commercial on the product I just bought? What? How do I get out of this? Are you kidding me? I didn't ask for this. A freaking commercial while I'm going through the product for the first time. Okay, the home button's not taking me back to the menu. Alright. Well, I have to say, that's a little disappointing. Now, what's this? Okay, so here's a USB connector. This is to power it off a USB device. So you could take this and hook it up to the adapter. It came with your iPhone. What else is in here? 
Jill's trying to sell me soap. Yep. And that's everything that's in the package. All right, back to you. So this is an ad. Touch all over it, press this. To me, it seems like this is locked up. Let's try power. Hit the power button. Well, there. Yeah, I don't get 30% off select yoga accessories. Oh, come on. Okay, hit the power button again. Okay, jeez. Alright, so let's go to device time. Well, device time, let's see, it thinks it's 9.41 p.m., and that is obviously wrong. Yeah, the responsiveness of the pad isn't what you'd expect. It's, uh, I don't know, it's not as quick as you would hope it would be. Identify your Kindle by adding some personal information. Touch. Purchased. Yeah, the 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 key the keyboard has or the touch in general has a bit of a delay, so you can kind of get ahead of yourself. The options. So we go back to menu. And this time I am going to shop in the Kindle store. Now one thing I do like about the screen is it is nice and easy to read and it does look like it will work well in the store, I mean in the sun and with polarized sunglasses. Okay, there's some books to buy. There's some books I think she would have. Let's see, Lord. Lord of the Flies. So this is Lord of the Flies. You can buy it for eight ninety nine. Okay, so if I click on buy, it says buying. Thank you for your purchase. Okay, now that's a uh, kind of a one click buy thing, so Gonna have to teach the kids to be very careful. Now you can't undo it here, but no, nope, I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, so now there we go. So here we go, new Lord of the Flies. So I click on it, and here it is. The boy with the fair hair lowered himself down to the last few feet of rock and began to pick his way towards the lagoon. It's one of my favorite books. Uh, you just page through like that. Pretty nice. Okay. Well, so device. I think it's. I, I would say it's a little bit frustrating, but I think for the uh, the price we paid for it, it's pretty good. In fact, I think my daughter will like it. It's nice and thin, slim profile. It's nice and light, so it's pretty good. I think we do need to probably get a case for this one as well. Alright, so that's it. That's the Kindle Touch.